Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr Moves Models. It has been a little while since I've done a, a bench update so I thought I'd take the opportunity of a bit of peace and quiet to, uh, to do a quick one. A quick one. We'll try and keep it quick. Um, as you've known if you, if you watched the, uh, the September update uh, in August we had the birth of our first baby uh, daughter. Uh, first child so things have been a bit busy on that front and that's been keeping me away from the bench m uh, more than well quite a lot but I've still been able to get to the bench a little bit from time to time mainly sort of the same sort of hours as I'm doing this video i.e. about half past one in the morning um, thankfully well not thankfully I'm a little bit of an not an insomniac but I, I tend to sleep quite late uh, go to bed late and get up quite late because of my shift pattern at work um, so the girls have gone off to bed, I come to the man cave and get a little bit of time in here uh, when I can. So, uh, what I'm going to do today in this video is uh, quickly go over uh, what uh, I've got on the bench at the moment uh, and show you that uh, shortly and then I'll have a, a little zip round about purchases because even though my building hobby hasn't carried on as much as I'd like to, my buying hobby certainly has done. Um, I saw a great Facebook meme the other day which kind of said, I've come to the conclusion that buying model kits and building model kits are two different hobbies and you know what I think I might agree with that one so anyway um, that's enough waffle really uh, what I'm going to do is um, move the camera down to the bench uh, try and get the overhead camera as well and I will show you what's currently ongoing and where I'm up to a couple of projects um, I haven't started any new kits compared to the last update but I can show you I've done a bit of progress on two of the builds uh, so I'll show you that So just before we go down to the um, down to the bench, uh, one thing which I did get recently, um, which is pretty cool, uh, it's the first time I've ever seen one of these, is a shop card. And this shop card is from uh, Brian, uh, BG Model Workshop. Uh, he's got his YouTube channel. Uh, go and check him out. He's massively into his cars, um, like most American modelers. Uh, and he sent me this lovely message all the way from uh, the good old US of A. Uh, and I should have said thank you sooner, but I haven't had the chance. Uh, and he's just congratulating him on becoming a daddy uh, and saying that, you know, don't worry about finding bench time, you'll always be there when you need it. Uh, take care, Brian. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, yeah, go check him out. Um, I might have to do some of these cards at some point. I think it's an American thing. Uh, not so, sort of like, um, common over here in the UK and Europe, but I know the Americans, they, they sort of send cards around. So that's going to go up and... Um, on my little uh, on the wall, uh, so thank you, Brian. Um, and with that, let's get down to the bench. So, uh, what have I been working on? Well, I've only been working on two two of my projects, two of my kits out of the one, two, three, four, five that are ongoing. Really, must not start anymore. Um, the first one I've been working on is uh, my Takano. Uh, this is uh, being built. Um, I haven't done much on it, I've just painted it in black. Um, this was being built uh, in the memory of one of my friends who passed away suddenly in 2017, um, his ex-military and then worked in the ambulance service. Um, and the idea was I want this finished by Remembrance Sunday this year because he passed away just before Remembrance Sunday last year. And I hate to say it but I haven't really done much of an effort on it, um, which is naughty really. Um, so. My thoughts in a minute are I'm going to crack on, try and get it done for Remembrance Sunday, but if I don't think I'm going to have it done and finished, what I'm going to do is um, leave it a gloss coat, not put the decals on, put it away, and then it'll come back out next year for Remembrance Sunday 2019, um, and then I'll definitely have it done for there, because I want to do it in a light, little sort of vignette, um, and I want to do it justice, so uh, realistically I think that's what's going to happen. Um, which makes me sad really uh, but on the flip side the reason I haven't been spending much time on the bench is quite evident it's because of little baby Harriet so we'll see um, but my gun's thing to say and it's not going to get done the other one I've been working on is um, this this is my entry into Martin Lamont's uh, Bomber Command buddy build it's Micro Mears 12144 scale uh, Vickers Valiant um, if anybody follows you, the Facebook page, uh, you will have known that this has been putting up quite a fight. Um, but we're getting there gently now. We seem to have cracked it over the last few nights. Um, 
so now painted up uh, that's sort of gassing off um, in preparation for a um, decals going on and then a gloss coat and then uh, some weathering um, I still need to do one tiny little bit of detail painting uh, and that is uh, this bit here just around the the uh, cockpit that's needed this anti glare panel doing uh, the rest of it has been detail painted um, so I'll just flip you from underneath there we go um, so um, the landing gear base has been painted light aircraft grey inside I need to uh, paint the actual landing gear in silver um, so that's my next job um, here I've done the black and light aircraft grey on the nose um, but when I peeled the masking off I peeled back some of the paint so that needs touching up as well um, and that's that and we've also got the, uh, the detailed painting of the black at the top of the, uh, the uh, tail fin so the painting process on this one has been Starnal Res Grey Primer uh, pre-shaded with Tamir Nato Black and then Mr Hobby Aquis uh, Insignia White I think that's H316 off the top of my head over the top um, you can just about see the pre-shade still breaking through it so I'm, I'm happy with the way it's looking um, so yeah, try and get that done um, the end of the buddy build is in two days so I don't know if we're going to achieve it but we'll give it a good go um, and that's about it really guys so um, I'm not going to be starting any more projects now for a while um, we'll talk about that in a bit um, so what I'm going to do is pop the cameras back to face me uh, and then we'll go through what um, additions it has been to the stash so guys you've had a quick look on what's going on, on the bench at the moment the Valiant and Takano the only two things I've really done any work on um, since the last update um, both of them I don't know whether I'm going to get them finished, as I said um, when I've shown them. I don't know if I'm going to get them finished when I'd like to get them finished. I, um, the end of the buddy build for the, the Valiant and Remembrance Sunday for the um, for the Takano. But hey, such is life. Sometimes I just can't make the deadlines. Um, it's no big deal. It's not like I'm losing out on money or competition or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is. Anyway, um, additions to the stash. There's been a fair few of those. Um, Definitely keeping up the second hobby of buying kits. Um, so let's just have a quick look for what we've got. Um, I will quickly show you. I bought some aftermarket. Oopsie daisy. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Sorry. It's crazy how when you haven't done a video for a while, you kind of lose the the feeling of how to do one. And it, not feeling very slick for me so I apologize for that anyway aftermarket I bought one piece of aftermarket I don't know if I showed this before I don't think I have uh, this is extra decals um, English Electra Canberra B2 collection sheet the reason I got this it's got the mark and sits on 7 squadron uh, Canberra in there and a lovely photo reconnaissance blue I think it is or a light British blue over, over black uh, looks rather nice and that's to sort of go into the lineup of 6 and 7 squadron aircraft I've added one type of tools to the stash, well to the army of tools, and it's an OptiVisor. Um, got this off Amazon. Um, this is there's a name for it, but come what it's called. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, um Yochtuson, there we go. Yochtuson um OptiVisor. I think about twelve to fifteen quid. Uh, they're really good, they're lightweight, they've got an integrated LED and they've got five different types of magnification um, and it makes working on 1 to 144 scale a lot easier, a lot more bearable. Um, so that brings me to kits. Um, I'm going to show you a kit that we got last year when we were at Telford. Well, my wife got it actually. It's this. This is Tiger Models uh, Cute Planes Superman Spitfire. Um, Laura bought this with the intention of doing it in a sort of girly mark in sort of pink, purple, light blue, glitter, and stuff like that. Um, just so I wanted to have a go at building an aircraft. Um, well, a kit, um, and thought it would be a good place to start. So she bought this, um, and she will build it. She says she's going to build it, but she just never got around to it. What with the pregnancy and baby and everything like that. So it gave me an idea, though. Um, basically, I had a, a pre-order to collect from uh, my local holly shop, Mr. Models, and when I was in there, I was having a rummage around. Um, I saw this. Tiger Models, um, Q-Plane, Messerschmitt BF109 
and this little light bulb went off in my head that I'd love to do a really geeky mobile for Harriet when she comes into the box room as her bedroom and I'd love to do it like some aircraft circling um, and so we had a Spitfire so naturally I thought well it needs a 109 to go against it um, so we've got a 109 and um, this also would be done as sort of a, a girly sort of pinky purpley sort of markings um, but it's still going to be a Spitfire and a, a mesh schmidt chasing after each other and I thought well we can't really have a mobile of two things going around so I need at least another one on there um, and then I was doing a bit of hunting around and found this on Amazon this is um, Men Kids um, Lancaster Bomber um, so once again this is also going to be in a girly out girly theme um, and then what we're going to do is try and balance the three aircraft at the same weight and then have them spinning on this mobile and um, get some music playing so she's going to have quite a quirky little mobile and in fact those three kits are pop sorry. Um, those three kits are probably going to be the next project that hits the bench uh, once I've cleared off the the Valiant and the Takano. Um, the Mosquito I need to try and get done as well before the end of the year. Um, so, but th those are going to be the next kit I'm starting. Um, I just mentioned that there was a kit there that I was going to pick up from my local model shop. Sorry, just let me grab it. Um, kit that's picking up from the local model shop was this one. Um, and I pre well, I ordered this online. This is SM, dodgy name, uh, SM Models uh, English Electric uh, Camber B2. Um, and as I said, I, I wanted it for the uh, for 617 Squadron project. It's not a cheap kit, 38 odd quid, 39 quid, um, and more than that if you go going like Hannant's or if you're going to go and buy it from um, other, other retailers. Um, the bargain from this is um, eBay had a 20% off discount code that I managed to find uh, and Mr. Models has got their own eBay store so I bought it on eBay to pick up from their model shop and got 20% knocked off and didn't have to pay postage. Um, it's definitely an artisan kit, limited run, um, you would have thought I've had enough of those in between the, the CL415 water bomber that I've done and this Valiant. Um, but no, um, I see I need one seventy second scale camber B2 around, so um, it had to be. Whilst I was there though, um, as I say, I, I picked up the BF109, the Q plane, but also picked up this. This was hiding underneath a load of other kits. Um, this is Fujimi's F14A Tomcat VF102 Diamondback markings. Um, this I picked up for £19. 1995 on eBay, I've going for 25 30 quid, so a little bit of a bargain. And it's going to complete the Hobby Boss F14 B's and D that I've got in stash, so I've got one of each variant of the F14. And this is a lovely looking kit. Um, it must have been there for years, hiding at the back of a load of other kits, and it just caught the eye. And well, he jumped into the bag as well. So that's it for purchases. I've got one more addition to the stash. And I've got to say a big thank you to my brother-in-law Stephen and his wife Sarah, who, who uh, this is my birthday present. Got to me a little bit later than the birthday, but hey, it's here and it's a, a wonderful present. Um, it is a beast of a kit, uh, so I'm going to lift it up here. It is Ravel's 172 scale B-17G Flying Fortress, um, so a big World War II bomber. Um, I've had a look inside this and it looks really, really nice. I'm not sure how well it's going to build. Uh, but I'm sure that it will make a nice kit at the end of things. Um, but that's probably going to sit in the stash for a while until sort of time that the man cave gets moved and I get my bench back. So that's it for additions to the stash. Um, last few things I'm going to just talk about is uh, what's coming up shortly. So um, as I said, I, I, I don't have any intention to start any more projects other than the, uh, the cute planes for the mobile because they should be quite quick to knock together and um, I'm not looking for anything finesse on them, it's just going to be something nice and different. Um, I'm going to get the, the Valiant wrapped up, um, as, as I've said, I don't think I'm going to make the deadline, but it's a bit annoying because I'm really close to the deadline. Um, we might make it, I don't know. But get get the Valiant done, uh, and I'll be happy once that's done. Uh, get the Takano done, maybe for Member Sunday, if we can, I'd like to get it finished by Member Sunday, we'll see. Uh, and then I'm going to try and get the Mosquito wrapped up uh, for the end of the RF100 SIG on uh, flying models. Um, and then I think once that's done and the cute planes are done, it's going to be a question of 
uh, packing away the man cave. Um, so there aren't going to be any more builds starting for a little while. And then once the man cave has been packed away, uh, I might do a bit of a laptop or, table or dining room table modeler for a little while. So um, any projects that I do have are probably going to be relatively simple. Um, I might have a go at some, like, some figure painting. I've never done figure painting, but I was thinking, you know, if I get like some bolt action figures or something like that, I can just sit at the dining room table and do some painting on those. Um, or maybe some war hammer even. Um, so we'll have a think about that. It's just so I can carry on doing a bit of modelling whilst I wait to get the Man, Man Cave version 2.0 sorted out. Um, other things, Telford, obviously. We're about a fortnight away from Telford now. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. Very much looking forward to meeting up some of the, the guys from YouTube. Um, Luke, my good buddy from work, has got Black Rifle Model Works. Um, he's there with the guys from UMP and ISM. Um, so looking forward to seeing Luke. Um, and then there's going to be a little bit of a YouTuber meetup as far as I'm aware. Um, so if anybody um, hasn't, Michael Booth has done sort of a little group on Facebook for YouTubers. Uh, so if anybody has got a YouTube channel uh, and they're not aware of it, drop me a message and I'll add you into the group. Um, and I think we're going to try and do some meetups on the um, both days. Uh, I think it was one o'clock. Michael suggested um, outside uh, the restaurant where they next to where they have the, the kit swap meet. Um, so it'd be nice to see some of the guys face to face rather than sort of on behind the camera instead and say hello. Looking forward to trying and catch up with a few people that are uh, you see at Telford every year. The guys from the, the uh, Mirage and French Air Forces uh, SIG like to have a chat with them. Um, Floyd Models, obviously, having a chat with Phil and the, the gang who are going to be up there. That's going to be a must. Um, pop by and say hello to them. Have a good chin wag. Um, and then also hopefully Gary Bottoms if he's going to be there. I don't know if he's going to be there. I know he doesn't do much on YouTube nowadays, but if he is up there, I do like to have a chat with Gary um, and you see what he's made um, because he's an st absolutely stunning modeler. Um, Stam Chamber doesn't put any YouTube videos out in a minute. Um, and you know, uh, we'll, we'll see who else we bump into. Um, so if, if you're at Telford and you see me um, and recognize me, please stop me and say hello. Um, I might very well be wearing a black polo shirt with a Floyd Models badge on it. Um, doesn't mean I'm part of their team, no, no, it just means that I'm part of the Floyd Models community um, and like to wear a badge and show that I am. Um, but if not, I might just be in civvies anyway. So yeah, please stop me and say hello. Um, it's on Sunday and I've got Harriet there. Please stop me and say hello. If you want to say hello to Harriet, you're more than welcome to. Um, and that'll be about it, really. Um, I'm so I think I'm going to wrap the video up now. Um, I've got to say thank you very much if you've stuck with me for the length of the video. Sorry it hasn't been as slick as previous. I kind of lost the habit of doing it. Um, I'm going to say a big thank you to new subscribers because still picking up a few new subscribers which is pretty cool. Uh, bearing in mind the content's sort of not anywhere near as often as it used to be. Um, so chuffed about that. Um, and also a big big thank you to all of those who sort of followed the channel for, for a while now. Um, obviously if you put any comments down below um, I'll read them. Um, I will get back to you if I if, well. I'll endeavour to try to get back to you, um, but yeah, normally I should be able to get back to you. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you very much once again um, for the support, the kind messages, uh, the kind message I had for the birth of Harriet. Was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's really nice um, that the community is all just friendly and bonds together. It's really nice. Um, it makes you feel quite warm and fuzzy. And on that warm and fuzzy note, I'm going to say thank you so much, guys. Um, if you're at Telford, I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next video at some point after Telford. Um, and I hope you had a great time leading up to Telford. And that's about it, really. So cheerio, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.